made a severe and continuous lapse with my judgment, I don't expect to be forgiven. The craziest YouTuber controversies explained in 26 minutes. There is a bunch of people. I, I single-handedly can name all these dramas. That's how you knew I grew up online, bro. Drama kind of fuels like YouTube if you think about it. Kind of how like people, people, it, it can make or break you. I need a drama badly. Guys, come up with dramas for me, but like not, you know, Predator. Something else. Armed robbery. My friend's uncle is EDP. All right, let's just see this video, man. Logan Paul is one of the most popular and influential content creators on the platform. From joining the WWE to creating the most successful YouTuber-owned company ever made, he has no doubt accomplished a lot. But with that being said, he is also one of, if not the most, controversial creators as well. In December 2017, he faced... This got 6.2 million views in a day. Could y'all imagine a YouTuber nowadays did something like this? Logan Loki set the paved way for it or kind of save people because I feel like eventually another YouTuber would. Like he literally hit the at a dead body. You really got to think of it. There's a dead body on that left side and he hit that face. For a video that was filmed in the Aoki Gahara forest, which is located in Japan, this forest is unfortunately the most popular place for in the entire crazy. country, with hundreds of people attempting to take That's their own actually so scary, bro. lives here every single year. Logan, while visiting Japan, decided it would be a great idea to vlog himself and his friends, venturing into it with the hopes of finding someone dead there. Unfortunately, mm. this is exactly what happened, but rather than handling this situation in a sensitive way, he instead filmed the dead man and was very disrespectful, making awful jokes about the nah, horrible- the the fact that he sat there and he laughed and he was like, What, you never seen a dead body? <laughs> Thinking he was about to get a fucking like laugh, <laughs> laugh track behind him. He was on a different type of timing. Full situation. After he uploaded this video, there was obviously much outrage, with many people, popular celebrities banned. and journalists as well, condemning his actions. This prompted YouTube to take action, in which they ensured that the video would be so deleted dumb. and would cut him off from all projects that they were- It's old. weird that this kind of put him on the map, like even more, to be an A-list celebrity. It's crazy that Logan Paul even had a recovery after this. You gotta think of it. Because there was a moment where Logan Paul was hated by everybody. He was always hated when he first came on. And then this happened, he was really hated. Then he had a recovery arc, and then he failed. And then he's just kind of kept failing pretty much but like prime are working on him with logan eventually apologized in which he claims his actions were missed oh, it's a classic right here hey, i'm gonna hit this in my apology made a severe and continuous lapse with my judgment i don't expect to be forgiven i gotta hit that man this is a classic this guy did and he only made jokes about the situation uh, apology video with 63 million views is so crazy to think about as a coping mechanism Bring after a brief ukulele. hiatus he returned to content creation but his reputation was significantly damaged and this incident became a defining low point in his career over time he was able to slowly build his reputation up into a more positive light but that was all yeah. for naught as he had another significant controversy a few years later on it's december crazy how a beer changes you bro changes your perception kind of like me I'm like, I'm having my recovery arc right now with the beard. Coming, man. 16th, 2022, YouTuber CoffeeZilla, who is known for exposing scammers, uploaded a huge Coffee video Zilla that went over the What's 2021 the angle, NFT game called CryptoZoo created by Logan Paul, which promised users rewards Did for- Did people still not get paid for this? Dude, I forgot about this whole drama. On everything, I forgot about this whole drama. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. Niggas don't even care about crypto anymore, NFTs. That's how long it's been, like, and he still hasn't paid them. Oh my God buying and trading virtual eggs that would eventually hatch into animals. Fortunately, this project was filled with issues, and many mm -hmm. buyers claimed that they couldn't interact with their NFTs or withdraw their funds, leading to accusations that the project was a scam. Fans and investors who trusted Logan felt betrayed as they lost significant money, and initially, Logan dismissed their concerns, but after this video was released, he acknowledged the issues and promised to refund everyone, but as of today, that still has not happened. <laughs> Coffeezilla has made multiple videos about this topic, going into extreme detail, so- Oh no, bro. If you haven't yet watched them, make sure to go check those out. Anyways, the increasingly positive reception of Logan at the time all went to shit, and this tainted so his career yet again, though he still has many loyal supporters overall. He has been in multiple other controversies over the years as well, but these are no doubt two of the largest, and they had major implications on his online perception, with many now viewing him in a negative light. Felix Chelberg. I think it's just Prime now. Prime is what's ruining his image, because he, like, bro. I want to say Lunchly too, but nah, it, it, it's mainly Prime, because he, bro, he promoted the Lunchly shit at his kid's birth. 
like at that point that's soulless I, I literally can't see you as there's certain things yes i understand if you're at that level you want to want to run your content as a business most people do in general but like that is actually soulless bro if i ever do some shit like that just know i sold my soul more popularly known as pewdiepie come on man uh we already know about this bro was once the largest youtuber this? of all time and during the height of his career he faced two major controversies that have caused significant online debates the first major incident took place in february 2017 where felix posted a video that featured two Yo, men holding up a sign that said death hell, to all jews which he had paid them to do on the website known as fiverr this video was part of a satirical skit intended to showcase the absurdity of the things people will do for money online however this video led many who were not him thinking that was a good idea to post is crazy i don't know who's pr manager was. Terrible PR manager. Terrible, bro. I couldn't see anybody even like, well, maybe on Kick or something. You probably see that, but other than that, bro, on any other website, I can't see it. Not familiar with him, believing he was promoting anti Semitism. Major media outlets, such as the Wall Street Journal, reported on the controversy, with them using biased language to promote the idea that Felix is anti Semitic. And this led to him being dropped from his YouTube partnerships, as well as YouTube canceling plans for other projects that they were working on. I still think it was just more of a dumb joke. Like, I don't even know why he included it, but that was on crazy. Felix with. And although his fan base understood that he was just making an immature and edgy joke, many people looking in didn't see it that way. Felix himself also made a response claiming it was just a joke, but also agreed that it did indeed cross the line. Many people also believe that this incident is a major reason why the 2017 adpocalypse occurred, where a massive amount of advertisers started to withdraw from- Man, if they, if they bring another ad I'm actually dead ass scared. I, I don't know why I feel it coming. I'm scared. Showing their ads on YouTube, as at the time, they most likely believed it was a horrible look to stay advertising Isn't on a platform where the largest loops? content creator no. on it is seemingly spreading anti-Semitism and hatred. Anyways, later that year in September, Felix- <sighs> Come on, bro. Can we not look at this? I I'm tired of seeing this bridge. I'm tired of seeing this bridge. Stop showing me this bridge. Stop showing me this bridge. Felix had an even more shocking controversy, as during the live stream on the game PUBG, he was frustrated by something that happened in the game. Why well, do I feel like the commentator's gonna rip it? Game. And in response, he blurted out the n-word. This incident obviously caused immediate backlash, with critics accusing him of being racially insensitive and irresponsible given his extremely large influence. Felix quickly apologized. Crazy thing is, y'all, I promise there's big YouTubers that do this shit behind the scenes. I promise y'all, bro. I guarantee there is big YouTubers that have done this in their group chats, whatever, behind the scenes, and you just ne you will never know. Just acknowledging that it was inexcusable. Pewdiepie Loki set the track for them. They saw him lose everything and they were like, shit. Yeah, I can't, can't be saying that. And reflective of a- We mean you. First off, I could say the word. Why, why are we acting like I can't say the word? What? A problem in himself, rather than blaming the heat of the moment. And because of this, most of his fans were proudly able to support him. With that being said, these two incidents are very controversial. And even though his long-term career wasn't affected too badly, these incidents no doubt had an impact on him. But honestly, it might have been for the better, as they seem to have helped him grow a lot as a person. And now, he is loved by pretty much everyone. Especially because of how reflective and self-aware he is, and being able to admit whenever he did something that was wrong. Jimmy Donaldson, who everyone knows as Mr. Beast, is the largest YouTuber on the platform by far, and while he managed to avoid mainstream controversy for many years, he has faced quite a bit as of recently. The first controversial incident occurred around two months ago, where Ava Tyson, who used to be known as Chris, was one of Jimmy's best friends, who had appeared in a large chunk of his videos for many years, and she was exposed for engaging in inappropriate conversations with the minor years prior. Although the messages that were leaked on Twitter are- Dude, this is just terrible. Haha, <laughs> Mr. Beast joins in to comment on my- Size. Sorry, these messages are terrible. Even if he wasn't messaging a minor or whatever, these messages are fucking awful. Are very old. Ava was at the time. Wait, of if, I, if I see your Discord messages with your friends or whatever, y'all making jokes like this, I'm just gonna cringe so hard. Legal adult interacting with young teenagers, having sexually charged conversations with them. Ava was also exposed for being a supporter of Shadbase, who is a NSFW artist that was known to dude, draw. This dude need to be eliminated off Earth, bro. Is this dude still alive? All children in, GTA. in inappropriate ways. And Ava had even bought one of these pieces of his art in the past, proudly hanging it up on her wall. She claims that all this was done as an edgy joke, but whether that is or isn't true. It it is no doubt very weird, and she should not have a large platform whatsoever out of safety for the children. Thankfully, Jimmy kicked her out of the Mr. Beast team. What did you do with that dog, you sick f Why does the dog actually look scared? Why does the dog have a PTSD face? Not have a large platform whatsoever out of safety for the children. Thankfully, Jimmy kicked her out of the Mr. Beast team, but many believe that there is no way that he didn't know about her actions, as he would frequently go to her bro, house. Bro, Mr. Beast knew, bro. Like, let's be serious, bro. 
in the past, which is where the shad base art was hung up. With that being said, most people don't fault Jimmy in any way in this situation, as he may not have been aware of the extent of how strange he was when it comes to interacting with minors. The next controversy, which is still ongoing, occurred very shortly after the Ava situation, where a YouTuber named Dogpack404 has uploaded multiple videos claiming he was an employee for Mr. Beast, allegedly ex- Bro, I genuinely wonder if Mr. Beast is about to respond with the, like, the greatest video of all time. Like, Mr. Beast could really have the craziest comeback of all time. You gotta think about it. Logan Paul had a comeback after filming a dead body. All right, any YouTuber gonna have a comeback and like their image and shit. Exposing many things that the Mr. Beast team has done, which involves mm -hmm. illegal lotteries, faking videos, predatory advertising, gaslighting, and more. Whether these allegations are true or not, he, he brings in a lot of insightful you, information, and late. many believe them to be true, which has brought a lot of hate towards Jimmy's way. Dogpack doesn't seem to be done, and although he might face legal consequences if he uploads more videos about this situation in the mm. future, it seems like he still has more to say. There is a lot of information that is highlighted in these videos, so if you haven't watched them already, definitely go check them out. Jimmy has yet to There's respond. Is a dude about to drop another video? There's no way another one's coming, right? The next one's just gonna be like, Mr. Beast is a serial killer. He hit 10 bodies when he, like, what, three years ago in his basement. That's gonna have to be, there, there's nothing that could top what's, what, what's been said. If you watched them already, They're definitely true. go check them out. Jimmy has yet to respond to these allegations, but popular YouTuber Ludwig claims that Jimmy has informed him that he will be making a response whenever all the allegations are okay. done being released. I wonder, I, I think Jimmy will probably make a Twitter response. I don't think he's going to make a YouTube to post it on his main channel. Yeah, I think he will post it on it. Actually, I could see him doing it. I don't know why I could see him doing it. As Jimmy claims he wants to make one large response going over everything, rather than going back and forth and having to make multiple responses. So we will just have to wait and see how this all eventually unfolds. Dream is by far the largest Minecraft YouTuber of all time, and although his career in the platform just like that, he disappeared from the internet. isn't too old, he has been through multiple controversies, with many of them either being completely blown out of proportion, or just not even true at all. I will be discussing the two largest Dude, People hated Dream so much, they gassed up a bunch of controversies, bro. Like, I don't even care about bro, but holy shit. Shit, the amount of allegations that came this way as soon as his face revealed. <laughs> Bro, this man was looking like the YouTube Bill Cosby. They had at least 60 allegations on him. I was like, God damn, bro. Controversies that he's been involved reveal. with. But as you can Not see on the YouTuber wiki page, he has had quite a few. Even though he hasn't done any. Bro, does a drama. Why is there a controversy that's just supporting Trump? Dude, see, this is the problem with the internet. Bro, if somebody wants to support Trump, Kamala, who cares? That's their political opinion. Bro, niggas is in too deep. That's a drama they have on here what else is here see grooming allegations and then what racism all that that's an actual drama feud with josh what i don't even know what some speed okay cheating scandal that was a drama that was a controversy see on the youtuber wiki page he has had quite a few even though he hasn't done anything mm. truly wrong a lot of people don't like him due to how he has interacted with his viewers in the past with many claiming he has often fed into their parasocial behavior and overall many believe he isn't a good influence on them especially since a lot of them are pretty young with that being said these pre-established views on him most definitely fueled the push for people jumping on controversies against him even if they were not backed by any evidence whatsoever you know what the dream would benefit from a nice fade he should have got like a fade or like yeah, does he have a mullet get like a fade mullet or something <laughs> by any evidence Low whatsoever. The first incident I will discuss doesn't really highlight this well, since there actually was some evidence that seemed to be truthful, but it occurred mm. in December 2020, where a head moderator on the website speedrun.com made a video claiming that Dream cheated on his Minecraft oh speedrunning streams. Although this might not seem like a big deal to anyone who isn't into the game or speedrunning in general, it no doubt was at the time. Dream was eventually able to clear everything up in his later responses, where he admits that he so found- So was he right or wrong in this? Does anybody know? Because I don't remember this. I doubt he was accidentally playing on a I don't version of the game right to help wrong. him out, and because of this, he removed his speedruns from the website, stating that he will not submit any more in the future either. The next okay. controversy, which was no doubt more popular, occurring more recently towards the end of 2023, involved allegations of Dream grooming minors and having sexually charged conversations with them. Although there was absolutely no proof of this ever happening, besides low quality Snapchat videos of people claiming the messages were sent from Dream, these allegations spread like wildfire, and it seemed like the majority of people jumped on the hate bandwagon simply because they just don't like Dream as a person. Even Eventually, he was able to clear everything up where he released nah, a this man released a whole f movie documentary debunking all the allegations. He cooked with this, bro. I'm not going to lie. He cooked with this. And on video on December bro. 19th, 2023, responding to these he allegations. The and although he got a lot of support after this video was released, this no doubt had an impact on his career, with many people still believing that he is a groomer or PDF file to this very day. Brian Moreland, who is better known as ED.
Do we gotta see this? I kind of want to see the EDP timeline again. It's been a while since I've seen the EDP timeline. Like it's been so long, bro. This is this, this happened in 2020, maybe almost five years ago. EDP 445 was a YouTuber who mainly made videos revolving around the Philadelphia football team and also covering other comedic topics, which were used. Could y'all imagine how big EDP would be now if he was like a streamer or something? No controversy. I feel like he actually would have been pretty big. Like he was genuinely a funny guy. He genuinely knew how to make jokes and make funny bits and stuff. And like, <sighs> that's rough. Countless memes for years on end. Hopefully he was exposed in April 2021 for being a PDF, PDF file as a group of two YouTubers who went by the name Yo, it's crazy how this kind of like started the predator invasion. And that's my video title. It's for one of my videos on the main channel. Predator invasion. It's kind of like, you know, you ever hear, you watch a movie and then they say the movie title in the movie. And Predator Poachers met up with Brian in public in which Brian believed he was going to be meeting a 13 year old girl instead. They confronted mm. him on sexually charged conversations that he had with what he believed to be a minor. And at the time, Brian was around 30 years old in which he was attempting to meet up with a 13 year old girl to have sex. Pops. In this very video, he was confronted in person and he didn't even deny it. They also it's highlighted- crazy how there's like a full lore for the place too, bro. They have a full, like, I remember they have like a full map breakdown of the whole place and events that happened. The fact that he sent a picture of his penis and video of him masturbating and ejaculating. And all this information yeah. is of course beyond disgusting. And obviously when this video released, he was instantly met with only backlash. No one supported him after this other than a few PDF files and he was banned from pretty much all social media platforms. Unfortunately, he was never put behind bars for this, nor has he done time for the other encounters in which he believed he was talking to minors. That's as so yes, dumb, there have been multiple more since. But fortunately, he now has much less reach after being banned from most platforms. He actually has a new account now too. <laughs> That's the crazy thing. He made about like 20 accounts I think at least. And hopefully there will be no more victims in the future by this sick freak. Over the years, he has tried making multiple comebacks and even attempted a claim that it was all just method acting for a role that he was aiming for, which oh, supposedly so involved cringe. him being a PDF file in a movie or something like that. But obviously no one believed it. Since then, his legacy has now so become stupid, even more bro. of a joke than it already was. With many YouTubers- I'm not gonna lie, the only way he would get saved is if he literally went to another country. He cannot live in the United States anymore. If he wants to work a job, for example, because they were literally calling his job or whatever and getting him fired from working at Uber and stuff. That is the only way he could recover. Such as Gideon and Moist Critical often making references about him and nah, the Moist situation, making ass. sure everyone remembers yeah, how much of a horrible Gideon's person this guy too. truly is. I show Speed is one of the largest live streamers of all time. And although Yo, I'm not going to lie, the amount of controversy Speed had in his early career is insane. I feel like people forget about it too, because like he hasn't had a controversy in a while, but this man had so many controversies, bro. He is loved by many. He has had many controversies. One of the most shocking, mm. which occurred on December 13th, 2021, during a live dating show on Aiden oh, Ross's no, Twitch stream, bro. involved Speed asking oh, an Instagram no. model if she would reproduce oh, with no. him in order to keep the human population going if they were the last two humans on Earth. The Instagram model responded, and in an attempt to be shocking and comedic, Speed repeatedly asked her, who's gonna stop me, indicating that he would force himself on her, regardless if she consented or not. Later in the stream, he also called her a bitch in an ugly fucking cunt. Then he yelled at her, proclaiming he yeah. masturbated to her every single day, and then proceeded to talk badly about her. This incident went viral on social media, and many- I know he regrets that shit too. I mean, Grant, okay, he was definitely younger he's like 15 or 16 but even when i was that young i would never have the confidence to say that type of edgy joke ever bro that is insane and he claimed that his and then it, it trended on tiktok oh my god i forgot about it oh my god it trended who gonna stop me i remember it trended <laughs> Yo, something like that could not pass today. Like, that wasn't even that long ago, but now, bro. Actions were creepy and sexist. Many of Speed's fans quickly jumped to his I'll defense, stating that he was only 16 years old at the time and that they were just shocking and edgy jokes. With that being nah, said- Nah, even that is crazy, bro. I mean, yeah, he was young. I'm not like, but that's that's still a crazy controversy. Speed was permanently banned from Twitch after this, which he actually streamed on off- Oh my God, I forgot about the bench shit. Then, and resulted in him primarily streaming on YouTube. And this actually seemed to be a lot more beneficial for him anyway. Another controversy. I that feel like um, it's kind of good that that happened to him. The controversy, because now like he probably realized, you know, he was wild or whatever, and he wanted to broaden his audience and not. He didn't want like an edgy audience. Like if you see Aiden's Aiden Ross's audience, bro. His audience is absolute garbage, bro. That occurred nearly two years later, in November 2022, bad. Speed brought a Cristiano Ronaldo impersonator <laughs> onto his stream to advertise a PlayStation 5 giveaway. However, none of the consoles were actually given away. Nah, and the, the funniest thing was the chat. All the chat was saying, I show scam. Nobody believed this f ass scam, bro. It was so stupid. Like, first off, bro, crypto was Ben Cook. Maybe if they did this in like 2020, 2021, 
people would believe it dude nobody invested in this shit i'm not gonna lie if you invest in this everybody was talking about it immediately when it happened and was saying like how dumb speedbus were doing it you were dumb as hell bro if you invested in this Stream was actually done to promote paradox crypto which chest, was exposed for being yeah, a scam much. speed was quick to apologize to his viewers claiming the stream and promotion was a mistake but many don't believe his apology was actually genuine nonetheless speed has only continued to grow more and more since these incidents and because it seems like he never had any truly negative intentions he has been met with a lot of support by yeah, most I people think he just over learned the years for it. It shane dawson is an old school youtuber who what is shane dawson up to oh my god who, for a long time during his early career, was known for making shocking jokes and edgy skits. Over the years, he continued to grow his subscribers, especially as up. his content shifted and his personality became a lot more politically correct. But with that growth, mm. there were many new supporters that had no idea about what type That's of person cats? he was before his change. In September Yo. 2014, a YouTuber known as Francesca Ramsey Damn, nine years ago! ...chained for making jokes about minorities, using the N-word, and also doing blackface. This is in insane work bro this is like the first face of hell right here in which he apologized Scary in a response shit. video and also stating that he viewed the controversy as a learning experience years later in 2018 another controversy occurred regarding comments that he made about being a pdf file from a podcast episode he did in 2013 but he later apologized for these jokes as well stating that they were indeed unacceptable and were just meant to be shocking these same jokes were brought up again a year later in march 2019 as well as comments that he made during that same podcast about you know he wants yo I've never seen this picture before. What? I've never seen this picture before. Everybody, real quick, hide your cat. You don't have a lot of time. You don't have a lot of time. You have like 10 seconds. Hide the cats. Engaging in bestiality with his cat. Although these jokes got brought up numerous times over How the years, they never impacted his career too much. That is until June 2020, where these incidents were brought up yet again, as well as new information which wasn't highlighted very much in the past, such as Shane at one point asking one of his young fans to twerk while on a megal, and also acting like he was masturbating to a poster of Willow Whoa. Smith, who at the time was only 11 years old. Bro, what the f Apologizing yet again and claiming he wanted to take full accountability, but unfortunately for him, this controversy had major implications on his career. With many of his viewers not engaging with him anymore, Target removing his published books from its shelves, and YouTube suspending his monetization on all of his channels for a limited amount of time. Although this was a major controversy for him and he lost a lot of his supporters, he still pulls in millions of views on his recent videos. Nah, I remember these conspiracy videos, bro. I'm not gonna lie, these conspiracy videos were pulling numbers back in the day. These were pulling like 40 million views. I used to actually love these videos. I'm not gonna lie, this is the first time I was actually like watching him. Videos, and although they don't perform anywhere as well as they used to, the support he still gets is very shocking to see. Star, Keemstar, who is known for creating drama alert, is one of the oh, most controversial sure. YouTubers of- I don't even wanna hear anything else about Keemstar. I heard he retired and, and good riddance. Of all time. Long before he found success on YouTube, he was a live streamer on Blog TV. It's and crazy how in like five years, like, Kids aren't even gonna know what, who Keemstar was. Like, it's kind of, actually a lot of these dramas, people probably won't even know who they are. In 2010, while in an argument with a black man named Alex, Keemstar called him the N-word numerous times. Although this mm. incident is the most notorious when it comes to his racist moments, he had quite a lot during this period, where he would often make racist jokes against all types of minorities, using many different slurs when he felt necessary. This controversy was brought up countless times over the years since, and was especially used as a talking point in 2016, when many YouTubers made videos exposing the awful things he had done during shit. his as a content creator. In early 2016, Keemstar Star uploaded a drama alert episode where he accused a RuneScape Twitch streamer known as RS Delorean Gold of being a PDF file, but he made a horrible mistake as he confused him with a completely different person. Although Keemstar apologized for this and deleted the video, it didn't matter to most people as this innocent old man was harassed by Keem's fans right after the episode was released. Years later in April 2019, Keemstar uploaded an interview with YouTuber known as Etika, who at the time oh, was showcasing no. unstable behavior in the weeks prior to the interview. And in this video, bro. Keemstar questioned his actions. Etika claimed that life was just a video game and that death means nothing with Kim responding to this statement asking the question then why live going on to say if life is just a simulation then who cares if you just jumped off a cliff although Keemstar did not it's actually so want Etika to genuinely hurt himself in any way many people criticized I don't think he did but he just didn't help he, he shouldn't even have posted this bro obviously the man was going through a mental breakdown or whatever so like he should have actually like tried to help him his actions in these crucial moments as it was obvious Etika was not mentally well off whatsoever two months after this interview Etika unfortunately took his own life and this is where keem faced major backlash as he could have handled the situation way more delicately when it could keem star there are countless controversies Send but these are just a few Discord. of the bigger ones that have occurred recently he has stepped away from uploading videos on the drama alert youtube channel instead focusing on his twitter and snapchat presence and he still gets millions of interactions every single month
Kaisenet is one of the biggest Twitch streamers of all time, and although he is beloved by many, he has gone through a mm. few controversies in recent years. On January 5th, Dude, some of the Kai controversies were so stupid, bro. 2023, Kai was accused by a TikToker, Jovi Pina, of downplaying and refusing to help her after she was allegedly raped at a New Year's Eve party he had hosted. That's she claimed crazy. that at some point she asked Kai if she could leave the party, and he suggested that she go sleep in the upstairs room due to her being drunk. Jovi claims that someone else who was at the party entered the room she was in and brutally raped her while she was asleep. She accused Kai of not adequately responding to her when she questioned him about the man, with her and many speculating he was covering up for him because they were friends. Kai responded on stream claiming that the reason he didn't respond was because he went to contact the police and his lawyers. Months later, on August 4th, Kai went through another controversy as he announced he would be giving away gaming consoles, computers, and other electronics in person at Union mm. Square in New York City. A crowd quickly began to gather with- Yo, I'll never forget the video of the girl twerking on the pole and the dude getting sturdy on the car. What are you doing, bruh? What are you doing? Why is this little, little fat kid punching the window? Go, go punch a f***ing boxing... A, a boxing bag, alright? You fat f***. God damn! This whole drama pissed me off because the fact that the people acted this stupid. Like, oh my god, bruh. Why? Genuinely why? That's the most work he's ever put in his life. Into a kick, bruh. Why? This whole thing just pissed me off, bro. New York, man. I, I can't. And then people blamed like Kai for this shit, bro. With the riots starting not long after, this resulted in cars being damaged, ass. rioters climbing on buildings and statues, fireworks being used, and objects being thrown towards police officers. The riot concluded with 13 injuries, 9 towards Kai's fans, and 4 towards police officers, and Union Square was left vandalized. There's no way they made a page for this. <laughs> Yo, they got this nigga like he <laughs> charged one charged Kai Sanat charges later dropped. Bro, they got this one in the history books. Acting like he was leading a coalition or something or like an attack on the government. Wait, it wasn't even just Kai charged too. It wasn't a bunch of people charged. Why do they put one person Kai Sanat charged? with 65 people being arrested, including Kai. He was charged with a felony first-degree riot, causing public hey, um, injury Jay, and damage, to two misdemeanors, two counts of inciting a riot, and two counts of unlawful assembly oh. and damage, two misdemeanors, two counts of inciting a riot, and two counts of unlawful assembly. Late 2024, the charges okay, were bro. dropped against Kai in exchange for an apology and $57,000 in restitution. Although he obviously only had positive intentions, how he conducted this event was horrible, but pretty much everyone has forgiven him, as he seems to have learned yeah, from the situation. Deep, and now knows how to properly hold meet and greets in the future. Dr. Disrespect was one of the well, well, well. If it isn't Dr. Disrespect, that's his name. Largest Twitch streamers, but mysteriously, he was banned from Twitch in 2020 with absolutely no one other than Doc and the people. It's crazy who how everybody quit. was defending him. Like, yo, why did Doc get banned? Like, come on, y'all are on some BS. Why is he getting banned? And then it came out knowing why. He Not eventually started streaming on YouTube, maintaining a popular career for years on end, until recently, where the true reasons on why he was banned was finally exposed. On June 21st, 2024, a former Twitch employee publicly revealed the reason why Doc was banned on Twitter. He alleged that Doc has- It's kind of crazy that everybody just believed this. Like, what if the dude was just lying? ...sent sexually explicit text to a minor through the Twitch Whispers feature, which was mm. basically like a DM, and that he planned to meet the minor at the upcoming TwitchCon. Shortly after these allegations came out, the company's- work Wait, wait, what did that hat say? ...and that he planned to- Lethal to the land, more like you're a predator to the land. <laughs> Meet the minor at the upcoming TwitchCon. Shortly after these allegations Tommy came out, the companies working whispers? with Doc began to distance themselves from him. Doc initially denied the allegations, stating that nothing illegal was found. But the day after he stated so stupid, this, bro. he claimed he was going to be taking a break from streaming. A few days later, on June 25th, he would post a tweet admitting to communicating with a minor over whispers and states that their conversations, quote, would sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate, end quote. Doc denied that he- <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I'm no- Predator or pedophile? Are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me knows where I stand on these things with those types of people. All right, buddy. Walk your ass to that jail cell. He engaged in any illegal activity and also didn't send illicit photos. But the fact that he engaged with a minor in any sort of inappropriate way, especially as a man in his late 30s with a wife and a child, was no doubt enough for- Yo, his wife is still bad though, bro. On the real, like- you know what I'm saying? Just hit me up. Anyone, friends or not, to call them out. Recently, Doc has hinted on Twitter that he will soon be making a return and seems to be implying- Yo, was he cooking up with this? <laughs> was Dr. Disrespect cooking up with this? Was he cooking up with this? <laughs> 
Oh man, bro, this is the most terrible handle. This actually might be worse than the ukulele. Lying that there is more that we don't know. It's He's pretty much impossible for him to get anyone on his side after this, other than the fellow PDF files, especially since he directly admitted to interacting with a minor in this way. But we will just have to wait and see how this all unfolds in the following months. Leafy is here was a very popular YouTuber around. <sighs> Leafy is here, man. People don't even know about this name anymore. 2016, who made commentary videos where he would criticize pretty much anything and everything over CSGO gameplay. Oh, he is considered to be one of, Never if not the most, him. influential personalities among the commentary community. And although nah, he was- I will say, bro, he was a weirdo, but he actually changed the commentary game. Because before that, I didn't even know commentary existed. It could have just been the time I was I was growing up and shit. But like, I, I really didn't know anybody that was doing what he was doing at the time. He wasn't a great person overall back then. He was no doubt a lot better than what he would later become in more recent years. Due to his content at the time, revolving around pretty much cyberbullying people and discussing drama, he no doubt was in a lot of controversy, but he was still favorable. He'd be, he'd be right over gameplay like this and be like, look at this stupid f***ing guy. This stupid kid doesn't know how to, how to drink water overall, especially since he took a stand against Keemstar at the height of his career, who most people viewed as a way worse person compared to Leafy at the time. Not long after this situation, his career would take a dramatic turn, where YouTuber Idubs, who was known for all types of content, but especially Yo, his- looking back at this era, bro, this era was actually ridiculous. Content cop series, which were basically just well-made and thought-out exposed videos, dropped one on Leafy, and this video gained about 50 million views before it was eventually deleted That's years so later. When this video came out, the public perception of Leafy changed greatly, as Idubs highlighted how insecure Leafy is and how lazy and repetitive is. Nah, IW's used to end careers, bro. Who has the same power to like, it's Moist Critical, low key. Moist Critical is the one, he can make a video on somebody and they're cooked, bro. Like, these content cops were generational, bro. Content is. Leafy began to lose many subscribers after this, and eventually, he stopped uploading videos altogether towards the end of 2017, as his views and subscriber count dwindled over time. With that mm. being said, the changing landscape of YouTube in 2017 is most likely- nah, this nigga was ugly as hell, and he actually had no chin. What led to Leafy losing viewership, as they probably promoted him way less, due to him being one of the most popular controversial figures on the Boys platform, and it seems like they were wanting to get away from that. Anyways, well, him leaving like the that. platform left many wishing for him to return, even those who stopped watching his videos, and after years of being absent online, he finally did. Like he was getting 7 million views on these videos, 9 million. That's ridiculous. But he was even more toxic and hateful than ever before. In 2020, he would create- it's crazy how he just transformed into his worst enemy, the thing he always made fun of. Like, this is- if Leafy saw- uh, 2016 Leafy saw himself- He'd be so disappointed. Numerous videos harassing other content creators, such as H3H3 Productions and Pokimane. And after saying some pretty hateful mm. things, his channel was taken down by YouTube. He would then make attempts to ban Evade and also switch to other platforms, but would eventually be banned again due to continuing to spread hate. As the years went on from 2020 to 2023, Leafy would increasingly Yo. spread far-right hateful ideology on Twitter and Rumble, dedicating a large chunk of his content to being racist, anti-Semitic, homophobic, and transphobic, even calling for the deaths of people in these groups. Although this new following he gathered was much smaller than before those who did support him were very dedicated these are actually getting decent views for rumble hated and hateful individuals right, who bro. shared similar views as him which was extremely alarming thankfully he was banned on twitter and has now been inactive from the internet for y'all realize how much work it takes to get banned on twitter bro on elon Musk twitter bro they're straight up like yahtzees on twitter now and they're not banned you know how much work it takes for you to get banned for about a year or so. He hopefully will never return again, but seeing that he's come crawling back looking for attention again and again over the years, that might unfortunately be what rumble. happens in the future, so only time will tell. James Charles is a huge content creator that focuses on covering and reviewing any- Nah, James Charles' motion was insane at the time, before the drama. Anything related to makeup, with him now having about 24 million subscribers. He has gone through two major controversies, with the first one not really being all that serious, but I will discuss it anyways. In 2019, Tati Westbrook, a fellow makeup YouTuber, uploaded a video accusing James of disloyalty. 50 million views? Yeah, women just be loving trauma, bro. 50 million views? Oh my god. T and attempting to seduce a heterosexual man with the knowledge His ass cheek pic was disgusting. There's a pic of James Charles ass cheeks on the internet. Some of y'all freak ass niggas is gonna search it up right after I said that. The man's sexuality. Other YouTubers, such as Jeffree Star, confirmed her claims, and James became the first YouTuber to lose 1 million subscribers. Oh my god, bro. Holy shit. 
24 hours. He then uploaded an apology video to Tati, which became one of the most disliked videos on YouTube before it was deleted. Eventually, he would post another video, and here he directly addressed the comments made by Tati, which led to renewed online support for James and criticism of Tati instead. She later removed the original video and, in 2020, posted a follow-up video in which she stated that Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson manipulated her into making the original video. Although the actions of Tati, Jeffree, and others were disgusting here, it is hilarious this how fast viewers switched stupid. up, with this situation showcasing how dangerous cancel culture and false allegations can be. As James could have- Cancel culture's peak was- I I'm so glad we're out of those times. What would y'all say cancel culture's peak is? Like 2019, 2020? Maybe 2021? Maybe 2021? Awful, bro. You couldn't say anything on the internet w without somebody being like, actually easily lost his entire career over this. Anyways, onto a more serious controversy. In February 2021, a 16-year-old boy posted a video to TikTok alleging that Man, long trip Spain, Ukraine, Egypt. Is the boy African appreciate this, my guy? I'm straight as could be. James had groomed him. Bro, he was targeting straight dudes by sending him nude photos and pressuring him into sexting with him despite knowing his age. James responded to the video with a tweet denying the grooming accusations and stating that the boy initially claimed to be 18 years old. Over the next month, other underage boys accused James of sending unsolicited nude photos and pressuring them into sexting with him. And in April 2021, James posted a video where he states that he sent sexually explicit messages to two different people, both who were under the age of 18. Nah, then we two people is ridiculous, bro. Two people? I don't even think, okay, EDP did do that. Do even Dr. Disrespect didn't do two people. Shit. Denied knowing that they were underage at the time. He called his past behavior reckless and apologized to the boys involved. Later that month, a makeup company he worked with cut business ties with him and YouTube temporarily demonetized his channel. He returned to YouTube months later and in a 2023 interview, he denied being a groomer and says that any other person alleging him of messaging them is lying. As several yeah, other okay, people buddy. have accused him of doing so over the years, posting screenshots. I mean, he already admitted, admitted himself that, you know, two people he messaged two people so they, it don't matter that's along with their statements there is no proof of any of these other incidents being real and it seems like this hasn't been pushed any further since although james faced severe accusations and pretty much committed multiple crimes he has been forgiven by a large number of people right this is what i'm talking about with youtube this is what i'm talking about this dude is getting still 1 million views and stuff people just move on from drama Pe people just move i'm telling you bro people do not care still gaining hundreds of thousands one good video and you're come back you're, you're already back dozens and sometimes millions of views on his videos today tana mojo is for some reason the only woman i will discuss in this video but she is no doubt a very controversial mm. person her first major controversy occurred at the beginning of 2017 after she had made a tweet directed at idubs calling him out for <laughs> bro, this tweet just screams out 2016, bro. She just added the nigga and just said straight up KYS. She just added him and straight up said KYS. <laughs> for his frequent use of the n-word and saying that he should take his own life. In no, response sorry, to this, bro, I just went to one of her meet and greets and took a picture with her, telling her to say the n-word while smiling at the camera. He did this all for a content cop video which he uploaded shortly after, and in this video, he highlights Tana's hypocrisy by showing past clips of her using the n-word, stating that the way in which he uses the word is in a comedic context, whereas when she used it, it was mean-spirited. Tana directly responded to this point, claiming she didn't stand by it and didn't know the weight of what she was saying, as she was indeed very young Man, at the time. He also highlights to? many other problems regarding her and her content and for a long time this video had a major impact on her career as she wasn't a super large youtuber and this video had gained over 35 million views with that being said Damn. this controversy wasn't that bad for her in comparison to what would take place about a year or so later where she hosted a convention Tanacon. known as tanacon on the best youtuber convention of all time I wish I went to Tanacon. June 22nd, 2018, about four to 5,000 people attended, and the convention was not capable of holding that many people. It was reported that many individuals passed out because of the heat while waiting to get inside, and they were not provided with any food or water. This event was shut down due to safety concerns, and thousands of fans were very unhappy as they bought tickets to attend, with many of them demanding refunds. Tana quickly apologized for this and stated that everyone would be refunded, and although she received backlash for not properly handling this event, it didn't have that much of an impact on her career, as she still gets millions of views per video today. Brian Lee, more popularly known as Rice Gum, was a Rice Gum, man. I haven't heard this name in eons. God damn, bro. You know what? I heard he, I heard he just had a kid. Good for him, bro. 
were around 2016 and 2017. He has some similarities to Leafy is here, as they were both very mm. popular around this time, and their content was focused on more negatively driven topics, such as cyberbullying and drama. Brian was known for his diss tracks, which he popularized on YouTube at the time, inspiring many other content creators to make their own over the following years. The Damn, these are seven years ago? He would also often flex his lavish lifestyle in egotistical ways, with many people also critiquing him for this. Idubs was one of these individuals, as he dropped a content cop on him. In this nah, I will say, Rice Gums Flexing was the most atrocious shit ever, bro. I, I literally would see it and just cringe. The video gained around 50 million views. Although Brian lost around 50,000 subscribers Damn. initially after this video was released, his career didn't take that much of a dip, mostly because his mm. audience was widely different from iDubbbz's. Brian would still gain hate comments and dislikes from iDubbbz's viewers, but it didn't have much of an impact on him overall. In this video, iDubbbz covers a lot of different things, but a major highlight was an insensitive joke Brian made towards a woman he had on his live stream. The girl was discussing how she was raped in the past, and Brian, in a attempt to be shocking and funny, asked her, did it feel good though, which is obviously a horrible thing thing yeah. to ask a rape victim. Anyways, Brian oh would my god, bro. That's, I, oh my god, I completely forgot about that. still gain millions of views and support from his viewers as time went on. Aiden Ross is the final content creator that I will discuss in this video, but he's definitely- Bro, I'm not gonna lie, Aiden Ross is like the new Goliath of drama, bro. I've seen this man in drama every day on Twitter. Definitely not the best person. He was one of the most influential and popular Twitch streamers in the early 2020s, but was banned on February 20th. Right, I really used to like Aiden's streams too. It's literally how I was watching, when I first started watching streamers and shit. Well, not the original, but when I actually came back to watching streamers. 5th, 2023, due to the hateful conduct policy on the platform. At the mm. time, Aiden was multi-streaming on Kick, which was a new live streaming platform meant to rival Twitch, and it is owned by the company Stake, which is a gambling website that often sponsored Aiden before gambling content was banned at Twitch. These gambling streams Aiden would promote to his younger fans was also a controversial moment, but nothing compared to what would happen following his Twitch ban. Anyways, Kick at the time was being promoted as a free speech platform where anything goes, as long as it's not too extreme or anything illegal. And because of this, all forms of hatred were allowed on the platform. Do y'all see this comment section? Yo, Caleb, blur this out after the fact. Platform. Aiden's chat was filled with anti-Semitism and racism, and he showed his chat on the stream, which was Average against Kick Twitch's chat. policies, as they do not allow any form of hatred on their platform. Average he was chat. then permanently banned from Twitch, and since then, now streaming primarily on Kick. Over the years, he has befriended the extremely controversial Andrew Tate, who pushes out misogynistic, racist, and I don't even think they're friends anymore, too. That's the funny thing. ...sistic views, and Aiden even openly supports Andrew during his ongoing human trafficking investigation against him and his brother. Since befriending him, Aiden has leaned more and more into the far right, spreading homophobic and transphobic ideas. I'm not gonna lie, this image single-handedly looks like a prelude to a gay, like, porn video. <laughs> it looks like he's gonna be like, are you ready for Big Papa's meat stick? Like, this is literally the, the most terrible image of all. Why was Aiden at the bottom of the couch? Hold up, he has to have set this up as a troll. Why is Andrew in the super, like, alpha highest chair ever and Aiden's on the couch with, with these tiny ass shorts and, the, and it's the white couch too like oh my god Andrew Tate's just looking him down this is this is terrible theology and at one point in the stream saying that his pronouns are kill slash them and how trans people make the world a shittier place he has also brought on white supremacist Nick Fuentes onto his stream and despite claiming he is reforming and will no longer be spreading any more hateful dialogue in his attempt to get unbanned from Twitch he still continues to do so which means he probably will never be unbanned from the platform even though he's still has many supporters and lots of respected content creators are friends with him. He has definitely spread a lot of hate and is overall pretty controversial now, with his public reception outside of his followers and friends changing quite a bit from the once comedic and pretty good person. Yeah, I think the problem with Aiden, bro, was like, he literally, I could tell, I've seen clips of him. He just says edgy jokes and shit that he doesn't even find funny. And who he used to be seen as. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you. Yo, W video, bro. Hey, who's this dude? Hey, y'all, go ahead and sub to this guy, man. Go ahead and sub to this guy, bro. Ama amazing video. Amazing video covering everything. My YouTuber controversy coming soon. Be prepared for it, all right? Best believe it's going to be an event. It's going to triumph all these. And uh, yeah, if you're watching the tube, make sure to join the Discord and watch the streams. Subscribe to Tommy NFG.